Hi, my name is Trevor Lund, and in today's Pastor's Minute, I'm going to give you five tips on how to let prayer prepare you. Okay, so these five tips are things that I've learned, and it's uh, something that I didn't get to in yesterday's sermon, and you know... (laughs) The the video wasn't recorded, uh, you know, uh, something went up with the iPhone. So we got to find a better way to do that. And uh, in the meantime, we'll just keep on trying and plugging away. Anyway, this is, uh, you know, we talked yesterday about how important it is to let prayer prepare you. And I, I just came up with five different ways to help you do that. Now, the first one is to remember that it's about, it, it takes time preparing you for what God has in store takes time. It's a process. And this process, you know, we read in uh, Jeremiah or Lamentations, Jeremiah's prayer and how just in an instant that thought was changed. And that really is the thing that keeps me coming back to prayer personally. It's, it's how prayer changes me in that instant, in that moment, but that's always in my thoughts. My thoughts can change. God can take them in any direction he wants when I let him. And, uh, you know, he can give me thoughts that are smarter than I've ever thought before. He can remind me of truth that I've known forever, but I've just been blind to. You know, that's why I also love writing in my Bible every time one of those thoughts come up. Because when I'm praying and I'm reading the Bible, it's like, man, I knew that back in 2003. Like, man, what happened? (laughs) You know, there's (laughs) right in your Bible. Anyway, um you know, those thoughts can happen in an instant, but the process, character takes time to develop. And really, when we talk about destiny too, I really do believe destiny is something that we continue to develop in eternity. And uh, so that's an ongoing process. So understand that going in, that when uh, we're talking about prayer preparing us, yeah, yeah, thoughts can change in a moment. Character takes a while. And it's a process that we're in. And so enjoy the ride. Like, enjoy what you're doing. The second tip I have for you is your attitude. You know, uh, if you don't have the right attitude, prayer will not prepare you. What were, Jesus said, uh, told the um, the Pharisees, the, the ones who studied the law, that you studied this law and you don't see that it points to me. You, We can be experts in the Bible and it not change our life. We can be experts in prayer and it not change my life. Like I, I, I shudder, like think about this yourself. When people say, you know, like, well, I pray half an hour a day or I pray an hour a day or I pray when I get up every morning, like big deal. <laughs> I'm not impressed by how much you pray or how often you pray. I mean, I love to see you come out to our, our times of prayer together, but you know what? It's, it's, it's important, I think, for you and to encourage each other. But honestly, let's talk about the goodness of God. Let's talk about how God has changed because of our prayers. You know, we've seen this coincidence or, you know, it, a miracle or whatever language you want to use. Uh, talk about the answers to prayer rather than how much you pray. Our, our attitude is so important. If we want prayer to prepare us, we need to we need to let understand that, okay, God, I'm not perfect and I want to be changed more and more into your image. So that's why I'm going through this, this time of prayer. And if it takes a season of prayer, if it takes constant, diligent for, you know, day in, day out, this is what I do because I'm a Christian and I got to talk with God kind of prayer. Yeah. Either way he wants to do it, he's preparing you for what's coming up ahead. The third thing I want to, the third tip I want to give you is it's not just about you and God. Yeah, that means, yeah, God can can prepare you when you pray alone. And yes, we need to have that personal devotional time with God, but we need to gather together for prayer as well. You know, when I, I, I see people who get drawn away from the church, it's usually because they've been hurt or because they've been disillusioned. And it doesn't take long for them to get some really weird thoughts about God. 
And, you know, Romans 1 says it, uh, you know, they, they knew God, but they neither worshiped him as God or gave him thanks. And so they became foolish in their thinking. And that's what happens sometimes when people draw away from God and don't gather together and don't be encouraged by each other. And, you know, that doesn't happen Sunday morning as much as it happens in small groups. And what about, you know, our prayer group? What about getting together for prayer? Because it doesn't even have to be like I pray something and it's kind of foolishness and then someone takes me aside who's wiser and smarter and say, listen, it really doesn't line up with God's will for you. It doesn't line up with what he says in the Bible. You know, those things can happen. But often it's simply I'm just being with other people and I hear their prayers and their prayers change me as well because I've never thought of it that way. Or maybe that thought that I'm thinking is maybe, yeah, I got to look into that more and, and, and boy, there is so much benefit for meeting together for prayer. And one of the best things is that it, it, it helps prepare us for what God wants to do in our lives and what, how God wants to use. I don't like that term use us, but you know, that's kind of the language around. So I don't think it's in the Bible. I think, I think we're co-heirs, we're partners with God. Uh, I think it's just sort of in the world I'm around. Uh, the next tip I'm going to give you is for your, your agenda. And yeah, it's not that we come to God with an agenda. God, you got to do this and this and this. We know that. But, uh, you know, how did I want to explain this? Um, there are people every day that I pray for. My family, my friends, people in my church. And um, I don't want to pray rote prayers for them. I can pray rote prayers. I want to pray what God is telling me to pray for them. I might be praying about something they've told me or asked me to pray about. I, I want to ask people every time I meet with them, how can I pray for you? And when they, they uh, tell me something, I keep on praying that way until either I feel released to pray something else or they tell me to pray something else. Um, and I'm not talking about those times, right? Like we, we do want the spirit leading us in those times. Because sometimes, like, for example, my niece was on a, a service trip and I just kept on getting this, this need to pray for her. So I was praying for her protection way more than even my own daughter who was on a service trip at the time. Uh, and nothing happened. And I'm glad nothing happened. And I won't know this side of heaven if my prayers had any real effect. But, but uh, you know, I, I do think they did, you know, because when he leads me that way, I've learned to be obedient. And I want to do that in my prayer time too. So if I'm praying for someone and so a thought comes into my head uh, to pray a specific way, I want to pray that way. So so um, basically what I'm saying is my agenda can't be tick, 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 get these names done. It's my agenda is, is uh, God, when I pray, I want to spend time listening to you. And when I hear from you, I want to pray that way. And it's, it's, it's an exciting way to pray. And actually that way, changes me too because if if i'm not <laughs> if i'm not being prepared uh you know if i'm just coming in with my agenda and going through the list nothing in me in, is changing but when i come to god and i, I god what are you what's your agenda for this list that I, i'm praying through it, it does change me and the more time i spend listening to him uh you know just just resting in his presence just what do you want me to say god uh the more I, I, I get, I guess, random in my prayers, <laughs> not, not so much random, that's the wrong word, but basically I, I don't stick to the script that I come with. Uh, the final tip, and I've already alluded to it, is if you want prayer to prepare you, you need to keep in, keep in step with the Spirit. That's in your day-to-day -day of everyday life. That's when you come, come to Him in prayer. Uh, it is totally. Uh, God does prepare us through prayer. And, and I, I want you to see that as part of everything we're praying for. Yes, God does change our circumstance or the circumstance we're changing, we're praying for. God does change other people when we pray. Yes, I, you know, I don't think we actually change God's mind, but he invites us to kind of negotiate with him at times. And sure, that's, that's great. Remember Ezekiel, like it's okay to negotiate. <laughs> and, um, those of you who aren't there Sunday won't get that. You won't see the video. Anyway, I won't go, go there. Anyway, um, have a great week. And if you have any questions I can help you with, feel free to drop me a line. I'm Trevor Lund. Hope this is helpful to you.